We'll talk about the role of senses, which are called indriya, indri, sense, indriya, senses, role of senses in helping our journey towards a good life. Senses are extremely important because they connect ourselves inside and outside. So what is happening outside, we can sense with our senses. What is happening inside our body also, we can sense with our senses. Now there are a number of different kind of senses, and usually we are used to the five basic senses, but we can consider many levels of senses. The five basic senses of touch, smell, sight, being able to speak, hear, uh, taste, those are the basic senses they allow us to survive in life, but they are the lower level senses, and a lot of our consumption how we lead our lives, how what we appreciate in life is based on these five senses. These are our sensual senses. They allow us to eat delicious food, avoid food that is not does not taste good, which is rotten. Smell helps us navigate through life. We have beautiful connection with smell. Touch is very important. Sound, being able to hear. So all these senses are very important. Uh, and they play a very important role in guiding our journey towards good life. But these senses are not all that we have, and often the senses can fool us. So higher level senses are needed to sometimes override these senses. So very often, as a meal of french fries and hamburgers, or cakes, chocolates, cookies, wine, those meals could taste very good, and they feel very good. But if our higher level senses are not awakened, then those senses of taste alone can take us into a path where we, we may overconsume, we may become obese, uh, not just physically but in other ways also. So what are the higher level of senses uh, that are important in our journey? So after the first basic level of senses which allow us to live, and we need those senses to live. If we don't have a sense of taste, we can suffer. We can't hear, we can't see. Those senses are very, very important for our survival. But then we can look at the higher level senses. And just going in progression, the next level of senses one may see or say are the creative senses, the senses that allow us to create new kinds of things, to find new options in life, find new pathways. So we are walking down a pathway and we need senses that can allow us to find alternate pathways. In case the pathway is not good for us. So the creative senses, being able to see beauty in life. So see a beautiful flower and the visual sense alone is not enough to see beauty. You need something else, something more subtle to see beauty in life. Uh, so senses of creativity and beauty are the next level of senses. Then the sense of balance. Not just being able to balance physically, stand straight, walk comfortably, run without falling, not just those senses, but a sense of balance in our lives. So for example, when we eat, the sense of balance is being able to see when we are full. If we can't see when we are full, we keep eating, we keep eating, and then we become overburdened, we become very lethargic, unable to move, and of course we become obese. So that ability to find balance in our consumption is also a very important sense. And balance not just in food, in buying things, in acquiring things, stuffing our house with things, all of those can be done to extreme or we can also be in a state of uh, weakness, anorexia for example, if we don't have a sense of hunger, if our body needs nourishment and our sense is not awakened, we don't feel hungry, that's also not good. So having a sense of balance to feel hunger but also feel this is all I need to consume, after that I should not consume. Right? So overriding the sense of simply taste, so sense of balance. Then going to the next level of senses, the sense of connecting with other people, having emotions where you can connect with other people, being able to see other people, feel love, feel a connection with other human beings, also with other animals, pets and so on. Being able to connect, being able to love and receive love, you also need that sense, and if that sense is missing, you may not be able to find that part uh, which allows you to love others. So the next level of sense beyond that is the sense of expression, expressing yourself, 
through your facial expression, through your speech, through your vocabulary, through your gestures, through your body movements, all of those are important senses. And also understanding other people's expression. When somebody is expressing anger, to understand that, if somebody is expressing love, so if somebody else is expressing also to be able to understand what they are expressing, uh, even if the expression is not quite explicit. So understanding others. And if that sense is not awakened, we can't connect with, we can't see others. Some, somebody is upset, we don't see it. And there are, of course, illnesses or disorders that are based on not having that sense awakened. Going further along, then the sense of looking inwards, our inner eye. Just like we have an outer eye, our inner eye, which is often uh, referred to as this point, uh, Ajna, inner eye, being able to look inwards, understand ourselves and learn about ourselves just as we understand and see the outer world. Understanding our uniqueness, understanding our special talents so we can nurture them and not simply taking guidance from outside. Of course, outside is also important, but inner eye, inner awareness is also very important. Then the next level of sense, which is considered the highest level of sense, the spiritual sense, being able to connect with the universe, feeling part of the universe, feeling this infinite beauty in the universe, uh, seeing yourself in all of nature, what the Sikhs call ekonkar, seeing yourself in others, and seeing the connection of oneness in the diversity of the universe. So all these senses are needed. If just one set of senses are awake, that of course takes you into that experience, but often other senses, higher level senses are needed to override, because our lower senses very often fool us. Our sense of taste can very often fool us. Our sense of sight can very often fool us. Sense of sound can fool us. So you need higher level of senses so you can accomplish a holistic journey and not just simply sensual consumption, but higher level consumption, consumption of emotions, love, feeling connections, observing yourself, knowing yourself, uh, that sense should be awakened and of course most importantly the sense of feeling part of this universe, sense of belonging, having a sense of purpose, uh, while also appreciating other people's infinite nature. So those are all the senses that one needs to awaken to lead a good life.